The topic on this video is uh, leading heat gain from infiltration in BTUs per hour using air change method. Leading heat gain is the energy that is moisture is added to the space by means of vapor through air infiltration from outside. To find the amount of leading heat gain in a space, we use the result of air chain method which involves estimating the number of air changes per hour which can be expected in spaces of a certain construction quality. So by using this method the quantity of leading heat gain of infiltration is estimated. In the first example by using air change method we estimated the quantity of air infiltrating into the space which was 167 CFM which was 167 CFM of airflow in order to be able to calculate the leading heat gain from infiltration airflow in a space. As mentioned before, infiltration is an air leakage into or out of a space so heating and cooling require a significant amount of energy so energy efficient buildings are designed and built using construction practices that reduce air leakage to the minimum level acceptable for adequate ventilation. In a typical building air leaks into or out of a space through doors, windows and small cracks in the building envelope. So air leaking into a space is called infiltration. In the cooling season, when air leaks into a conditioned space from outdoors, it can contribute to both the sensible and leading heat gain in the space because the outdoor areas are typically warmer and more humid than the indoor air. The equation used to estimate the leading heat gain from Infiltration is uh, QL equals uh, 0.7 times airflow times delta W. As in, in the first example, we calculate an office space with volume of 33,600 cubic feet of volume. and after a simple calculation using uh, air change method that gave us an infiltration air flow rate of 167 CFM so the outdoor design uh, dry pool condition is uh, 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit the outdoor design with bulb condition is 75.5 uh, and the outdoor design condition or the amount of moisture in the air is uh, 105 grains of water per pound of dry air the indoor design uh, dry bulb condition is 75 and the indoor design with bulb condition is 64.5 degrees and 
the indoor design condition or the amount of moisture in the air is uh, 70 grains of water per pound of dry air the amount of infiltration airflow into a space is uh, 167 CFM and we use a factor of 0.7 at standard condition at sea level and the conversion factor from pound of water to grains of water is 7000 so you need to remember that 0.7 is not a constant which is uh, deferred from properties of air at standard condition of 69 degrees uh, Fahrenheit of uh, dry air at sea level so air at other conditions and elevation will cause these uh, factors to change so let me show you how to calculate the moisture in the air based on the temperature so we know the outdoor dry bulb condition is uh, 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit with the wet bulb condition of 75.5 degrees and we also know the indoor dry bulb condition is uh, 75 with wet bulb condition of 64.5 degrees and we need to find how much moisture is in the air per pound of uh, dry air based on the outdoor condition of 95 degrees and indoor condition of 75 degrees so using a psychometric chart by drawing a line from the outdoor dry bulb condition which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit to where it intersects the wet bulb condition of 75.5 let's call it point B and then draw a line from point B to where it intersects the humidity ratio 0.15 pounds of my and using the same way for indoor condition by drawing a line from the dry bulb condition of 75 degrees to where it intersects the wet bulb condition of 64.5 degrees and let's call it point A and then draw a line from point A to where it intersects the humidity ratio of 0.10 pounds of moisture in the air now you need to convert them from pounds of uh, water to grains of water so the conversion from pound of water to grains of water is uh, pound of water times 7000 that will give you the amount of water in grains so for our outdoor condition we have 0.15 pounds of water times 7000 we get 105 grains of uh, water per pound of dry air for our indoor condition we have we have 0.10 pounds of uh, water times 7000 we get 70 grains of water per pound of dry air so we can now calculate the amount of leading heat gain into the space which is a volume of uh, 33,000 
and 600 cubic feet so QL uh, equals uh, 0.7 times 167 CFM times 105 minus 70 that gives us 409100 point5 uh, BTUs per hour for the space we calculate it which is a volume of uh, 33600 cubic feet of volume so that's it thank you for watching